ever. And then, <laughs> and then we just see this man dab kick his no, way I, to the blast. I, I was I questioned everything when I saw Wormy Nugget just do three downers, like short hop downers in a row. I'm like, what's happening? All right, but this is the real game, ladies and gentlemen. So no foolishness here as Child resumes his very patient play. Catching Wormy Nugget on the platform there. Dude, held up air is so good. It's like, if you're not going to get hit by the initial up air, you hold it and it becomes a frame trap. Why is that a thing? Uh, Bayonet actually has a few tra uh, frame traps. Like that. <laughs> like that, actually. He was able to capitalize off that air dodge into another up B. Yep. And all Diddy Kongs like to do in this matchup is sit center stage, let Bayonetta's press like the 15 or so buttons or whatever they can and press in the, the air banana. and then just punish the landing. But Child's not going to have that. Already getting an early kill up on the ceiling there. And Child already knowing that how, how aggressive Josh wanted to be there and punishing him with the witch time. All I could say from watching Child's sets so far today is South Florida needs to really learn how to SDI these combos because it is not working right now. We have our father e there to teach us. Isn't he? Didn't he lose to like his last two bayos? Um, so one, last one bayo. Oh, we too. Child finally off stage now. Wormy Nugget trying to catch his landing with then banana, that is as where you, you just do it. mentioned. Yeah. Boom! Down tilt forward smash. Yeah, Child was doing a bunch of unsafe things right in front of Wormy Nugget as he just kind of looked at him and held shield and was like, "Are you done yet, guy?" And then throws the banana, was able to punish him for it. Yep. Some would even say that TNF Child is a filthy button presser. But uh, he's pressing some really good buttons right now, uh, if seems, I did say so it myself. It seems like it's definitely working out in his favor as Wormy Nugget struggles to make it back into the stage safely to never make it back again. Yep. And that all happened because Wormy Nugget dropped his shield. Yep, TNF Child for some taking reason, first game. For some reason, people think that he's going to just not press buttons at some point. I wouldn't call it buttons, just buttons. He's capitalizing off of what his character provides for him. And um, when you're kind of lingering up in the air like that and you air dodge and you fall into another up B, you're going to have to expect to be taken at, up at a higher altitude, especially when you're already up there trying to air dodge uh, child's combos already. But game two, Wormy Nugget bringing it back to Smashville. I want to see more patient play coming out from Wormy Nugget. I want to see less running and more walking. Walking and shielding is like the most effective thing you can do against Bayonetta. So we're just basically seeing patient play right now as both these players try to regain a basic understanding of the neutral. Wormy Nugget trying to fix up his playstyle completely, although first game did not work in his favor. We're seeing a lot more of a patient play now from him as he just struggles to catch Chain of Child's landings. Um, Child now lingering more off the platform and more on the stage. Mm -hmm. And I think Wormy Nugget is starting to figure out that when TNF Child is doing his aerial special combos, that there are really only three landing options. There oh my goodness, that was a fantastic a grab. Read. Yeah, yep. automatically knew that Tina Child wanted to opt for the more defensive option as he did not want to get back thrown on the platform there. Mm -hmm. Yep, wait for the landing. Great. Wow, that was fantastic awareness from Child. Trying to land as safe as possible from that ledge there onto the platform on the opposite side of the stage. Because here's some food for thought. When Bayonetta presses her B moves, the more B moves she presses, the more landing lag she has. Oh, that makes sense. Especially if you end with, I believe, side B has more landing lag than if you end with up B. Something to take note. Yeah, I saw a video on that, actually. But and Wormy Nugget just doing Wormy a Nugget, better job in the last yeah, game, too. Wormy Nugget is just waiting for... Like I said, there's like three real landing mix-ups that Bayonetta has. There's 
land with lag after pressing your buttons. There's use witch time to try and eliminate your lag. Or she's going to try and immediately get to the ground and mix you up with an attack, like back air or down air. Or she, or she could also linger around the platforms, moving platforms, to change up her recovery, maybe fast fall through the platforms as well, to recover from down below to get the Legend Vince ability safer. Um, I would never suggest landing in front of Diddy Kong, yeah. especially if he has Banana in his hands. And Bayonetta is definitely one of the characters who can kind of do what she wants. I guess it would be planking would be the term. Bayonetta can do a, a pretty decent plank at the ledge. Okay, so we just got word that Ape Man had just beaten DJ Jack off stream. So that is DJ Jack taking ninth place in the Super Weekly, guys. So that's pretty hype. I would tweet that out while you guys follow stream. Look with the shameless plug here. TNF Child missing a wish hand right in front of Wormy Nugget. And unfortunately, Tina Childs really needs to work on his patient play this game. He definitely uh, tried to overcommit to a lot more things this game than uh, Wormy Nugget was able to kind of just wait around and just punish him for. Yep, because you know what it really comes down to is Tina Child is just trying to read him. And at this point, yes. When th reading your well, opponent just doesn't work, it just creates more percent for yourself. I, I wouldn't say reading necessarily. I would say he's just trying to. I don't know what why he's co constantly throwing out witch time. I know he wants to end the stock relatively early, but uh, Bayonetta does have a very safe uh, back air as well as an upbeat to capitalize off of his moves. But unfortunately, Wormy Nugget is at a higher percent with rage, so he's going to be able to follow these uh, combos a little bit easier. Back air is actually not going to be the safest option right now for Bayonetta though, because if Wormy Nugget sees a back air coming, he can spot dodge it and immediately punish with a banana. That was great DI down. Don't throw away the banana. Oh no, it's the child combo. The one that he says shouldn't work ever. <laughs> yeah, because you can get out of it. Yeah. I explained earlier in a set that you can actually DI down, but then it becomes a frame trap with Nair. Which off stage like that will lead to a death regardless. True Blue taking the set over Dath off stream. Wow. This might be the lowest placing that Dath has had in a while. That's for you. Okay, no, like, oh no, of course, yeah, yeah. And that is it. We are going to a game three, even though this is a best of five. Yes, we are. Yeah, Wormy Nugget, what he did a lot better there was he was able to basically catch all of TNF Child's landings. Uh, TNF Child actually didn't play as patient that game because he was at a damage deficit, whereas uh, Wormy Nugget stayed grounded the entire time he had a uh, he had the lead, and he was like, okay, well, you could try to camp me out, but it won't really work in your favor if I'm the one that has the least amount of percent than you. Mm -hmm. So, game three going to Dreamland. So, this is the second time that a game three has gone to Dreamland for TNF Child today. Uh, questionable side B on the stage. Doing it right in front of Wormy Nugget too. Unfortunately, very unsafe. Uh, so he wasn't going to get punished for that. That was a fantastic upbeat though. I wanted to upbeat out of that situation immediately from that monkey flip. TNF Child honestly needs to just sit still for a little bit. Like, uh, no, he kind of collect himself. He, he can't do that. He's a hashtag buddy mashing video. <laughs> well, he gonna learn today because he's taking some percent. Wormy Nugget just understands now that Child just can't play grounded the entire time as Bayonetta, so he's using it to his advantage. Oh, this is gonna oh, be a big that conversion. was unfortunate. Air dodge to the ground there too. So he, unfortunately, he was in line with some lag. He tries to co cover that jump there with Peanut. Great mix-up on the Peanut Gun into Banana, too. Trying to bait Tina Child to land back onto the stage where he wants him. 
Notice how uh, Child is actually camping these platforms a lot more now. Mm -hmm. He suddenly shifted the momentum of the game slower, so that way he's able to... Oh, that was a great wait from Wormy Nugget. Not trying to overcommit to an up air there, just in case that Witch Time would come out. But Child instead opts to jump away. All these empty hops and rolls. <laughs> I mean, that's what uh, high-level play comes down to a lot, is just trying to feel each other out, make it work. But Wispy, not being yeah, Wormy Nugget's best friend right somewhere there. Somewhere in the world, MVD is crying when he sees that. That was very strange animation. It looked like he had canceled a jab into grab. And I know that TNF Child is upset with that up tilt, because if any move in this game actually triggers that man, it is Diddy Kong's up tilt. Why does it kill? We'll never know. Why does this kill? Why does this kill? Oh my goodness, you're talking about up tilt. <laughs> oh, just like that, TNF Child <laughs> it actually evens out the game. And Wormy Nugget just trying to not be as aggressive. Hopefully his mentality is unshifted and he continues his patient play that he had against TNF Child. But unfortunately, that monkey flip is going to get caught by that uppy there. He needs to watch out how he throws out his aerials, whereas he was playing very safe onto the stage with his banana in hand. Yep, and with the way both of these players are playing right now, I can definitely see the set going to a game five. Tien of Child doing that thing again, where he kind of just jumps around the platforms. Well, look at his percent. <laughs> exactly. And the best part about it is... That was a great mix-up there. A great mix-up on the fair and to grab. Something that I'm actually seeing Tien of Child do a lot more commonly. Yeah, fair is like... Bayonetta's fair is like extremely safe on shield. The amount that she can move herself left or right afterwards, or just continue her doing aerial drift fair. with fair, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Um, for her to be able to mix up her opponent into a grab there, turn around grab that is. Yep. Oh, great tech coming out from uh, Wormy Nugget there. If he didn't tech on that platform, that could have been a death. Mm -hmm. And yep, with an up smash there, and that is going to be TNF Child's game. That was something that Wormy Nugget was actually trying to avoid that entire game, which is why we saw him play so patient the first stock when he didn't up there when he had the opportunity to, because he didn't want to risk that happening to him. Exactly. And unfortunately, around the very end there, he got a little impatient and got Witch Time on the platform, the worst position to be in, especially at that percent. And it makes you think. Do you think maybe last game Tiana Child was spamming Witch Time to try and get the thought in his head? Oh. Maybe last game TNF Child was spamming Witch Time to try and create a thought in Wormy Nugget's head that, oh, maybe he is just going to randomly throw out a Witch Time. And then the one time he actually does, it connects. I mean, it could be a possible mind game. Conditioning. Although it would steal um, um, Child? I. <laughs> It didn't matter because he still was able to get some conversion off of it, but like, I saw him jabbing the air. I don't know, it, it looked funny. I feel like Child is playing so weirdly today. Alrighty, 64%. That was a great position for Child to be in. Up on the top of that platform. Uh, Wormy Nugget, unfortunately, getting caught by his jump. See? Bayonettas will definitely use Witch Time to try and uh, cancel out their landing lag from their special moves. Gormy Nugget constantly catching uh, Child's jump as well from the ledge with that banana. Last game we saw it with Peanut, actually. Oh, no. You don't... What? He kicked. That's actually the first time I've seen Wormy Nugget do that. I, yeah. In a long time. Wow. Um, that's quite unfortunately. That's going to shake him a little bit. Well, hopefully it doesn't because mentality is everything when you're playing against a patient player like this. He needs to remain calm and play as patient as he was the last game. He is Diddy Kong, so... He, he can definitely bring this back, but Diddy Kong is not one of those characters that's going to just explode on someone, like, in a matter of seconds. He, it takes time. He's got to win neutral a bunch to actually, like, get the win. I mean, he's doing a fantastic job at just staying in shield um, and being as patient as possible. Oh, wow. Reading that roll with the down tilt, but not confirming anything off of it. Yeah, that was a really fast up B. That was the fastest up B I've ever seen. Tina Child is utilizing these held up airs to the best of his ability right now. He is creating frame traps left and right with yes, it. Yes, but Wormy Nugget was able to SDI out of that witch twist there. But on Town and City, this might be down tilt up smash percent. 
Or a simple up throw up air? Nope. Oh my goodness. Which that banana That banana was able to help out Wormy Nugget extend on that only because when he bit bat within, he he got hit by the banana as he bat within. Yep. Bat within into the banana to bat within again to get hit. That's crazy. Why does this character have basically a frame one air dodge? I I, I think it is a frame one air dodge. Oh my goodness, he caught the monkey flip right there, and he wasn't able to kill him though, but catches his landing once again. Can Wormy Nugget make it back onto the stage? Good he recovery. recovers high instead. He does not want to risk being gimped off the stage below the ledge against Child. Child able to maneuver himself a lot better than Diddy Kong can off stage like that, put below the ledge. Damn. Oh, he really want. Oh, that was really good idea from oh, Child wow. until he has to re grab there. <laughs> he just re grabbed the other side of the stage. Oh no! And it all starts with an up B, so he's got to really be careful around. Uh, How did I end up like Bayonetta this? Shield. It was only up B. <laughs> but I got hit by an out of shield option. How did I die? Talking about Uppy right now, and that is it. TNF Child taking the set game one, game four, I'm sorry. Which is kind of unfortunate, only because I would have liked to have seen uh, the outcome of the match after Wormy Nugget had not SD'd at the, around the uh, beginning mid-match there with that monkey flip. Uh, very, very unfortunate.